What is going on? All right, so today we're going to be talking about enclosures. And enclosures are one of those things, um, when you're building an IoT solution, um, you don't really think about, but it turns out to be like really, uh, really key making something that's pretty awesome. And it's not always straightforward on how to do it best. Um, so I want to show you as we're building um, this IoT project, uh, kind of the iterations that we're going through on um, the hardware side and the enclosures. So the first iteration I, we have for an enclosure is this. So um, like I said, this is we're using particle um, for the chip. Uh, this one's got a photon in it, and I think this one's got the Xeon in it. But this is the first iteration, and um, Basically, if we can look in here, see the autofocus. So we've got it's basically just a breadboard, and what's nice about this is breadboard, and we've got it um, pinned out. So we have uh, this here. This is for the, the analog sensors, and um, this box didn't have this hole, and so basically bought the box, it drilled the hole, um, and then we actually um, like I'm really not. Uh, as good on this the, the electrical side and my dad is actually an electrical engineer so we went to a ham fest for this iteration and we found this box and uh, basically there, there's like a little like waterproof thing in here um, and then what's kinda nice is then for the battery so this thing is uh, cellular so for the battery we, I just went to Target first for this first iteration Target and we got a, a portable like battery bank um, right here see it so this is basically and then this is a fully enclosed basically waterproof system and I've been able to do a lot of testing for, for, for and it's worked out really nice like I'm able to throw this box outside I mean, let me shut this in like this thing is, is thrown that basically I can throw this outside so um, we also have here let's say like this is we just have this basically this automotive connector um, super cheap and then um, we got our sensor and these connectors I really like them um, and I'm learning a lot about enclosures. So this is like the inline inline style. Then we got a chassis mount here. So we have um, basically you can put whatever sensor you want. So you got soil moisture, you got proximity sensor, you got whatever you want, any kind of sensors. Plug it in, boom. And then um, one of the things that's really nice and it was super easy to do because um, instead of building the app behind it with uh, Azure IoT Hub and all kinds of cool stuff. So I don't know if this is Zoom. So you got this app, and then you can scan the device. And for this version one, I just printed off a QR code and just stuck it on there. And then, oh, let's see, if it's loading. It should be, it's gonna be slow now. So you got some data, and then you can see basically last published and all that. So um, so that's, that's the first iteration of the box, number one. Um, things, Learnings. So actually, when I was drilling this box, I haven't I was uh, haven't been really working in the shop for a while, um, and I, I put it in the drill press, and I was like, I was just ready. I was holding it like this, and I got the drill press, and I'm like ready to go. And the freaking thing that at the end it caught, and this thing was spinning around like a like super fast, and ended up like shooting across the room. Uh, and surprisingly, this thing's got like no no holes in it. Like no, it's not messed up. I mean, it was it's a little weird, but like. This thing flew across the freaking shop, um, and it kind of it made my heart jump because I was like, "Hold on to the thing," and all of a sudden it's like whoosh, whoosh, in the drill press. So then we had some problems, um, but I'd say so. Like um, for pro a prototype for prototyping things, this is the sh this is the the best because, um, like I said, I got the I got this breadboard in here. So like right now we just got we just got this wired up for one one analog sensor, right? Um, but it, very easily you could have this configured for something different. So the idea is we'll make this app. And make this like system so you can grab things, and like if you got a guy who's in a shop and needs needs a little sensor somewhere, and we haven't quite like we don't quite have it figured out, we'll just grab this box, and uh, we'll be good to go. All right, so this is version one. I'm gonna show you version two. Um, like I said, so I'm a, I'm a software developer, software engineer, and my dad is an electrical engineer. He's in help along with this, so we have this little all things sensors. They, like that's actually the the company all things sensors.com uh we're really trying to help around the particle IoT all that 
but this is called a bud box and um, some features of the box that when we, we were talking this thing out is we, we need it, it needs to be toolless so like if you need to get into it you don't need a tool and then here's the second version so we replaced the battery from the battery bank like phone one with this actual this battery here um, this this unit here this this one is a Wi-Fi enabled this one is cellular enabled um, so we also have if you look closely we have um, we're mounting the cellular radar radio right here cellular radio um, this box is also for this iteration also a prototype so we have <clears throat> our breadboard in here and then um, that's that's about it and the issue the thing then then we already say like we're gonna put instructions on how to use it here um, we made our QR, QR code a little smaller and actually got a little label printer so it's nice and nice and easy to and that scans well and this is the app is a uh, an angular web app <clears throat> excuse me uh, it's an angular web app it scans it picks it up really nice I'm gonna plan to make it a progressive web app uh, and it's gonna be pretty awesome um, one of the things this this we have now two so we, have, we went from one analog sensor to two and um, just for trials sake we, we're, we're trying to do we just got like a, a regular trailer um, cable so this is gonna go away this is terrible but like so basically if you wanted to add the analog sensor you would just plug it in and then all of a sudden you got your sensor and you can get with like 50 foot wire or whatever if you want if, you know, if it won't fit in this, this small one um, so this is iteration two, and some important things, um, learnings is is we need to we're, we're, we need to figure out a better way to source these cables. Um, this box came from DigiKey, and this box, like I said, uh, came from actually a ham fest. Which I don't know if, if you guys don't know what a ham fest is. They're really kind of boring, but there's a lot of cool old old electronics. It's like the most old school of old school electronics show. Lots of radio stuff. People with like the ham radios. Um, but really smart electronic people, and basically all most of the components for this version one box, and it, this is something like with particle, it, it's nice. Um, it came from came from the Hamfest, like this this chassis mount, this chassis mount connector Hamfest. Um, so yeah, and then so so we now we're moving this. We look we got some learnings from this, and this is what what's awesome is uh, uh, I learned a lot working with my electrical engineer dad. Is is it's it's kind of like software with the iteration process and how like you do you you get learnings from this so we learned a lot like I won't hold a box and drill press at the same time because it's gonna pick up and spin so I learned that that was a learning um, and then these holes were a lot easier to drill and then we've got um, nice connectors here some features that we liked about this box specifically is it has the mounts um, it has a place a lock for a, a padlock because the idea is you probably we're definitely gonna want to lock um, the circuits and then like so the next iteration of this box is actually if you see how everything's like in like we, basically all these wires and crap um, we're, we're creating a, a printed circuit board and it's going to be a much smaller package and then um, the idea is we're going to have a Wi-Fi enabled box a cellular enabled box the connected endpoint and then there's also um, something called a mesh network with these where you have um, it's the particle boron chip and then that'd be where the Wi-Fi comes in on and then you can share that cellular because that one there's a cellular SIM card in this so that one imagine this one device has a cellular SIM card and then you can have like 15 20 actually many other devices that are basically talking and using that one as a device with the SIM card as a device or as a gateway to the internet so we're gonna have that mesh network probably iteration three um, but that's I want to show you like because I remember, so first when I first got a particle like a year ago or IoT stuff, I, I, the enclosure is like I would have this breadboard sitting around. And I'd be like, okay, I got the sensor; it's doing some things, turning some things on and off. I want to actually try it like outside or something. And, was, and I went on Amazon particle enclosures, and there wasn't really anything good. Um, so I think what we're actually going to work on doing is once we get a good system for these enclosures, that's going to be a product on all things sensors. And um, we just want to make it so, like, if you're a hobbyist on particle, um, it's just, or, or anything like this, basically, like, a particle is an Arduino board. I mean, they're all, it's basically the same thing. But any kind of IoT projects, the enclosures are very important, and it's one of those ones that we're going to keep iterating on. And so far, we got to this. 
I'm super proud of it. And honestly, like, I, I was just going around everywhere just with this box. And I'm so excited about, like, you can have it uh, publishing events. And then just, when I, like, I don't know, I get such a kick out of the scanner, too. I don't know. So if we just, like, oh, this is my, what, what is what is my device at? Whoop. And then it's loading. And then you can see, we, ha we can see, like, what's going on in this box. So that is on the hardware enclosure side. I'm gonna make more videos about kind of the evolution of uh, all things sensors in this this box. Um, but like I said, I'm, I'm more of a software guy, I'm more like a web developer, software developer guy, and like now I've been really diving in and learning this IoT stuff, and, and it's been really awesome and just seeing how like you can go like version one, version two, and actually like they're, they're, you could use this for one situation, this for you, I mean it's, it's whatever situation is your needs. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all things sensors. If you want to take a look at the code for the app, um, that's all on my, on my GitHub. And then we have the, the app is at allthingssensors.com. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's a good, good learning experience. We're doing some, the Azure, um, for the IOT hub, basically everything's on Azure for the app. Uh, so yeah, take a look and stay tuned for more videos like this.